Hello everyone, my name is Tabia and I'm a recorder player. You just heard me record a little snippet from Vivaldi's recorder concerto in C major for this tiny little instrument. It's called a sopranino recorder and it sounds really high and really virtuosic, especially if I'm playing all those fast notes. As a recorder player, I don't just play this one instrument, but I actually have a huge selection of over 30 recorders at home. I brought a few of them today to just show you what sort of sizes and shapes recorders can have. This one is called a desk hunt recorder, some people call it a soprano recorder, and it's the one that you will play if you play the recorder or if you have a sibling who plays the recorder. Sounds like this. So a little bit lower already than the tiny little soprano that you heard in the recording. I can go even bigger than the desk hunt recorder if I have a treble recorder and you can see that it's about twice as long as the sopranino so I can fit two sopraninos into one treble recorder and that means that it is exactly twice as low as the sopranino recorder. And the treble recorder is actually the one that's used most in Baroque music, so music that was written 300 or 400 years ago. And it was called the common flute, so the most common recorder at the time. I can go even larger than that. I have a tenor recorder with me here, and this one is actually twice as long, as large as the desk hunt recorder. And because it's now so long, I can't possibly reach the lowest note, which is why the maker has put on these metal keys to help me close the bottom hole to actually play the lowest note on this instrument. And it sounds much more low and mellow than the other recorders that you've already heard. Recorders can get even bigger got one more for you. This is a bass recorder and it's got a really funny shape. So they've sort of bent the top and that's simply because otherwise I couldn't possibly play it because I am quite tall but I'm not tall enough to play a bass recorder if it's not bent at the neck. So I blow into here like just like on the other recorders and you can see there's many more keys now because the holes are much bigger and much further apart. So even if I stretch my fingers I couldn't reach all the holes so the keys make it much easier for me to close them all and play all the notes including the lowest note. So that sounds, if you compare it to the little, tiny little sopranino I played in the concerto, then you can see this is just a diff totally different world, this low bass recorder. Let's go back to Antonio Vivaldi's concerto for sopranino recorder and orchestra. You might wonder why Vivaldi wrote such difficult music for this tiny little recorder. The answer is that Antonio Vivaldi worked as a composer and teacher at the Ospedale della Pietà, which was a music specialist school in Venice. And at the school there was a large number of very talented young girls who were incredible musicians and there, was, there were also recorder players there. So Vivaldi composed these recorder concertos for a girl studying and learning music at the Pietà. What I love about this concerto in particular is it's just so joyful and it, it's fast and it's virtuosic but incredibly fun to play, especially with a big orchestra like La Serenissima.
Many composers, both from the Baroque period and present day, use the recorder to imitate birdsong. So I've come outside and I'm going to play a little bit of sort of bird melodies or bird inspired melodies to see if we can tempt some birds out to sing along to it. So you saw me move my hand all the way up to the top of the recorder and that little window here. So there is a huge um, width of sounds you can create on the recorder in order to imitate birds. And I'm just going to show you a few of them. So one is this, we'd call it a vibrato, so a sort of bending of the sound. You can play short and fast notes. You can use what's called a flutter tongue, so fluttering your tongue up and down in your mouth really quickly. And you can use trills or slides, so-called glissandos, up and down the instrument with your fingers. So. Let's go back inside now and listen to some more Vivaldi, record a concerto for sopranino recorder and orchestra, and perhaps you can even hear a little influence of those bird songs in that fast and flourishing recorder part. Mm -hmm. 